Hello and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. I am Teasley and let's go. This game looks amazing. Like seriously, this is, this looks awesome. So let's go. And we're on this like island thing. There's a crab, come here. Where'd he go? I'll get you. Where are you? Okay, whatever. I don't care about you stupid crap. Why are you gonna be so mean to me? Hello, ship. Hey, 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 hey. Come back, come back. No, I don't that. You're that guy. I don't want any of your stuff. You suck. Your stuff sucks. I'm taking this. Whoop. Hey. You weren't supposed to do that. There you go. You got another one. It's gonna blow! And yeah. run away! Cover! I know what I know. I, I know what I must do. Yeah! There you go. Now I have another way up here. Okay, I need another one of those, please. Yeah. yeah. There we go, and hop on up here, and get this orange thing. Gotta go along the edge here. Gotta be careful, don't wanna fall over, you know. That'd be dangerous. No falling, Link! Don't do it, don't do it, Toon Link. Toon Link, Toon Link, Toon Link. Got it, okay. Why would you do that to me? All right, let's go up here. Hey, look at the bird. Hello, bird man. Hello. Teasley? Teasley, is that you? It is, I'm pleased to see you're okay. I must say, you've traveled far for one with no wings. And your sister, is she? Is that so? Well, don't worry too much. I'm sure she'll be hanging in there. I have an idea, Tizui. Would you like to meet our chieftain? I've told my people here about you, and all of us Rito are very concerned. I'm certain the chieftain will be befriend you and lend you the aid of our Eerie. I'm settled. It's settled then. I'll fly on ahead and let everyone know you're coming. Come inside, Tizui. I'll be waiting. All right, Birdman. Oh, wait, what did they call themselves? Aw, oh, crap. I don't remember what they called themselves. I don't know what these birds are called. He said it and then I forgot right away for some reason. Pick this up. Drop. No! 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 Alright, whatever. Let's go inside. Let's go on the side and have some fun with all the bird people. Hello, bird people. Well, have you discovered the cause of the great Valu's anger? Ah, uh, so you are Tizui, are you? Quill has told me all about you. A troubling tale, indeed. I insist that you let us know if there's anything we can do to help you. We shall do everything in our power to assist you. However, in the meantime, we have a problem of our own to deal with. When you arrived on the island, did you notice the raging dragon perch here atop the mountain? As you can see, we of the Rito tribe are profoundly connected to the sky. We make our livings on the airways. So they're called Rito. We do so by the graces of the sky spirit, Valu. When a Rito reaches adulthood, he or she journeys to the top of the dragon roost to receive a scale from the great dragon. It is a scale that tr enables the Rito to grow his or her wings. Recently, however, the once gentle Valu has grown violent and unpredictable. Sadly, we can no longer approach him. If this continues, the fledglings who are of age will never be able to receive scales from Valu on dragon roost. They will remain wingless, and in, t and in time, our very way of life will be threatened. As Chieftain Arito, my first responsi responsibility is to solve the problem. My apologies, but I must ask you to wait for our assistance until this is done. Will you do so? Yeah? 
Yeah. Ah, I'm awesome. Chieftain, what do you do? Chieftain, what do you do? What do you think of consulting Tisui with regards to your son, Prince Kumali? As you see, Tisui is a gallant young lad. I feel certain that Prince Kumali would open his heart to him and speak freely of his fears and worries. That may be. I direct my son Komali is of the age to earn his wings. Yet he is weak. In some ways, in, and in light of the current situation, he may just give up on ever getting them. What say you? Will you share some of your courage with my son? Will you meet with my son? Yeah! I'm awesome! I thank you. We shall do our best to solve our problem as quickly as possible so that we may better help you with yours. I have something I wish to give I wish for you to give to my son. A young girl named Medley is holding it for me. Would you take find her and take it? I am counting on you. Yeah, I'll find her. Okay, yeah, Here, Tis, we take this with you. I that's not my voice. <clears throat> Here, Tis, we take this with you. Wait, that's not my voice either. Ahem. <clears throat> Here, Tease, we take this with you. Okay. Who knows? It might come in handy. We got a delivery bag! You should find the medley on, in on one of the upper rooms. Leave the great value to us. In the meanwhile, do your best to aid Prince Kumali. Or Komali, or however you say that. Alright, hello! What are, you, what are you doing? Oh, you're the fudging the chieftain mentioned, aren't you? I feel as though I should tell you, despite what may he may seem like right now, young Master Kamali is quite a pleasant child. His father and the chieftain. And I don't want to read this. Sparkling ball. Okay, he got a sparkling ball from his grandma. Okay. Ah, yeah. Are you Medley? Hello. Wow, you really do have green clothes and a strange shaped hat. You're a teasing, aren't you? Oh me, I'm an attendant uh, to the great sky of spirit Baloo. My name is Medley. Well, to tell the truth, I'm not an attendant quite yet. I'm actually still studying to be one. Oh, what am I thinking? Here, this is from the chieftain. T-Sui, he wants you to give this directly to Prince Kumali. Yay, we got the father's letter! Hiya! Alright. The room way in the back on the first floor is Prince Kamali's room. You have to go down a couple steps to get there. When you meet Prince Kamali, please don't get offended by his manner. He has no bad intentions, I promise. By the way, um, listen, t -Sui. I have a small favor I'd like to ask of you. Could you please come to the entrance of the Dragon Roost Cavern later? I'll explain everything then. Alright, so I guess we'll just go deliver this letter. Guess I'm the mailman now. Hello. All right. So in the very back, uh, which would be over here. Wee, wee, wee. And open up the door. Go inside, and we see Prince Kumai. Da -na -na -na. Oh, not really. Okay. Hello. Huh? Who are you supposed to be? Oh yeah, that's right. All right, we got a process. We got a stink and take. Uh... Um. Ah. No. Get my telescope back on X. Okay. Now we close that. Here you go. What do you want from me, huh? I I don't want to talk to anyone right now. There. A letter? From my father? Hmm. Oh, sure. Telling me to be brave is easy enough for him. This man, like, he's the one who went through that horrible experience. Oh, oops. You're in this letter, too, you know. Poking your nose is another people's business. You're nosy, aren't you? Sorry, but I really don't feel like I'm going... I feel like going to see Baloo right now. I mean, how am I supposed to... How am I supposed to get a scale from him when he's so upset? What? 
Alright, are you trying to say that you can calm Baloo down? Psh, this is a big fat lie. It's easy to say you could do anything. Wrecking doesn't cost a thing. I'll tell you what, if you can find me someone who can get past all the obstacles on Dragon Roost to get to Valu, then I'll listen to anything you say. Alright, so uh, now that he has the letter, we, uh, we are needed, we need to go, uh, to, uh, Dred, what, wherever, the entrance to Dragon Roost or whatever. No idea where the heck that is, but I'm gonna try and find it. Alright, so let's look around. Alright, what's back here? Whee! <laughs> Alright, what's, what's back here? Is this the right place? Okay, seems like I'm a bit too far up. Okay, I need to go down a level. So maybe that was what that, um, light place down the other way was so let's jump down here uh, this place I think might be a way nope that's not it this way this of course this this must be the right way yeah okay I'm in here Oh, there you are. All right, I'm here. Hey, you actually came! I'm just really sorry for bringing you to such a dangerous place. I had to. I wouldn't have asked if I didn't really need help desperately. You see this place? There used to be a spring here surrounded by a beautiful pond. It was so peaceful and lovely. But then the great Valu, he became so angry and... And his rage he shook the mountain and his boulder crashed down, plug plugging the spring. You can see the result. Oh, but where in is my mind? Tell me, how is Prince Kumali? Oh, that doesn't sound right. Not at all! I may be partially to blame for the bad turn that Prince Kamali's taken. See, Prince Kamali's grandmother was the Great Valu's former attendant. She was an amazing woman. I was honored to have her as my teacher. She was kind of brave and unsurpassed in her dealings with the Great Valu. I'm not yet worthy of being mentioned in the same breath as her. If I, if only I'd possess some of her strength, I'm sure Prince Kamali would have felt more secure. Teasley, I'm so sorry to ask this, but I need your help. I want to go to the small shrine that's near the peak of the dragon roof, but that ledge over there is so high. If I could get some wind under my wings, I'm sure I could get up there. So, will you help me? Sure. Woo! Thank you so much! Pick me up. Then face that ledge and toss me! The atmospheric currents are really messed up, so pay attention to the direction of the wind. Alright, I'm ready. Don't hold back now. Throw me as hard as you can! Get up here. First try! Boom! Awesome. Oh, thank you! I think now we'll be able to climb Dragon Roost and meet with the Great Fellow! Don't worry, I'll be fine. I may be I may be just an apprentice attendant, but I can understand some of the Great Valu's language. I'm not exactly bursting with confidence, but look, if anything happens to me, please look after Prince Kalmali. This is all I have to give you. I know it's not much, but please take it. It's a bottle, I think. We got the empty bottle! Yeah! They carry water and stuff. Oh, and please don't tell anyone that I'm climbing Dragon Roost. It'll be our secret, okay? Well, good luck, both of us. All right, so this is what I'm gonna do. Let me get this bottle. Close that. Get some water. And now what we do is we climb back up here. I think this is this is a part that I've done. This is a part that I remember how to do. So uh, after that, we come over here and we drop the water on this plant here. We pick up the bomb plant and we toss it. It blows up, the water fills up in here and we can swim across.
how this works. Sorry if my mic crackled a bit there. Um. Yeah, so now we get to swim across this thing. I don't know why she, it would have been way easier for for me to just do this instead of throwing her. But I threw her and made it first try, so it doesn't really matter too much. So now we just gotta swim over here and climb up this thing and get up here. Smash all these things. Get the rupees and then pick up this thing and we gotta try and get it in there. Dang it. Okay. And ah, oh, so close. Need to get closer. Gotcha. And now we hop. Dang it. Gotcha. And now we can hop, hop around, get across, and now we go inside the deep dark cave. Dragon Roost Cavern. We got a moldy rock right there. It's like got moss and stuff. Not moldy, it has like mossy and stuff. Alright, now. And we got, okay, so we got our quarter of our heart back that we, well, I don't even know if we missed it. Okay, so. Got to grab this. How are you can grabbing onto that? That makes no sense. Pull this one over here. And can we pull this one? No, that one's stuck. Okay. So now we're in here, and we have some bad guys. We just beat these guys up. Pretty easy. Oh, I heard something okay all right so we need one of these oops didn't mean to throw that hey let go get that and break that stuff open so uh we want i forget what we want to do with this uh I know I've lit this before and then ah oh, over here that's right I think a treasure chest or something shows up Whoop, whoop. Yep, treasure chest, awesomeness. I gotta know all the puzzles, get out of here. I don't need you anymore. And what do we got? A small key. Well, uh, then that wasn't really a secret. We kind of needed that, okay. Okay, so basically, I think that's a teleporter for later. I'm gonna break open all this stuff. And now we can use a small key to open up the door. Dun! Wow! Okay, and we can break all the pots! Break the pots! Break them! Break them! Nothing. Fine. Nothing. Ah, <sighs> nothing. Good open. Dangerous place here. Very dangerous place. What the? Okay, see, this place is very dangerous. We okay, we need a key. Can we? No, we need it. We, oh, okay, we don't have another key, so we need another key. Hop. Okay. Hop. All right. Pull. Let's see what. Pull this out. All right. Here we go. Dangerous jump. Hut. Did it. Okay. And yep. Ooh. This this is very scary. Fire lava. Hey, you wanna go? You wanna go, Bat? Ah. Uh, ow. Gotcha. Alright, we need this for this. Throw it. Alright, so now this door is open. And we go across. Open the door. Ah. Open up the door. Get another heart. Oh, I forgot that's what that did. We should not break those. We need those. But there's plenty of them. Okay. So what I want to do is pick this up. And throw it over there. And then we hop onto here. 
Uh, that's not supposed to happen. No, that's that's definitely not supposed to happen. It's a why? I don't know why you didn't jump right there. Uh, there we go. All right, so now we open up the chest. What's inside? What kind of special treasures lay inside this very special chest? A dungeon map. Hey, okay. Okay, that thing just disappeared. All right, can we hop and get up there? Okay, so now we got climb up here. What the? Ew. Ew. Ha! Ah! Ew. I don't. What the heck was that thing? That thing was nasty. Okay, so. Hey. Yeah. We're the best fighting guys. Hey, throw that. Yeah. Alright, good. Zack, uh, back. Not good enough, huh? What, do we need Master Big Sword? Well, we have Master Sword. We need this thing? Yeah, we do. Get out of here. Okay. Alright. Let go. We still need this. Get out of here. Oh, what's that? Red chew jelly. Okay. Alright, hop on up here. Smash! Throw it out of here. Alright, what's inside this chest? Okay, another small key. So I, I think I know what that small key will be used for. Do you guys have any idea? Well, you'll find out in the next episode. So, get another chew jelly. All right, so we're gonna open up this door. Okay, guys. So, if you enjoyed this episode of The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker HD, leave a like. And, uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed. And I'm Cheesley, and I'll see you in the next video.